Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to episode 11 and page 9 of our Journal in January series. Now, please remember that this is a journal for my um, adventures to the Anna Griffin Create For um, event last year. However, you can make a journal out of absolutely everything. We will look at that at the end. Everything I do use in this series I shall put underneath each episode and we'll build up uh, a long list at the end of all the items that I've used and if I can include a link I will do. Please feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you. If you've got questions don't ask them on YouTube, ask them on Facebook or on my blog because I can't reply to you on YouTube. But don't let that put you off because I, I do love getting your comments. Now in today's episode I've called it the New York Approach because we've been in flight and now we're approaching New York. I'm just going to turn back because I have actually started prepping my page. Little reason, I got started with the video and uh, I was interrupted. So unfortunately I got to the bit where I'd just put these two pages in. Now all I've done is I printed a silhouette of New York um, onto a very pale blue background and then I've just added some writing at one side and it says looking forward to landing in New York. But little did I know what was in store for me. Now the two photos that I've got, they aren't um, the clearest of photos. But I was determined to get photos of coming into New York. And you know, that for me made the flight because that's what I wanted to see and I did. So the photos that I've got, they're both four inches square if they've been printed out and I've matted and laid them onto black cardstock, just a normal general black cardstock and I thought they would look really cool on the silhouette background. I've got some embellishments to add and I've got an extra something else to add as well. Now what I'm thinking is one photo will look great there and one photo will look great there because we've got something extra to add to this page. Now the thing is, um, you're now asking yourselves what happened in New York uh, as to why I was wondering what was, you know, didn't know what was in store for me. When we landed in New York and you go to border control, passport control, etc. Um, we went to the desk and um, they asked me to follow them for extra questioning. So they took me away and I asked if my husband could go and they said categorically no, I had to go on my own. So I was taken to a room with armed guards and told to wait and I sat waiting and waiting and to be fair they were only doing the job and that's you know what they're there for but I was scared out of my wits. And it kind of tarnished my journey to New York. I wouldn't let it put me off going to New York again. So, you know, there we go. However, for this kind of the flight and we were so happy and off we go. And then it was like, bang, oh, what's going on? So I was kind of scared and, you know, didn't really know what was happening. I was only in there, well, it seemed, it seemed like half an hour, but it was probably maybe a little bit less however we had a connecting flight we had two hours to get our connecting flight and um, I was kind of worrying what was happening what was going on what they were going to say to me etc but in the end it was all good they you know they did whatever checks they had to check on my passport and then I was free to go without them even asking me one question so you know good on them for doing the job but little bit more information would have been great for them as to what was going on there we go so that kind of just added a little bit of a cloud however once that had happened it was all systems go and I was back on track for you know looking forward to Atlanta so those are my two photos and they might not be the clearest photos in the world, but they do represent part of my journey. Now, what I've done, where I've matted and laid them, I've got double-sided tape on the back, and I'm just going to peel that away, and I'm going to add one of the photos just to one side of my page, at that side, 
and then the other photo um again double-sided tape on the back and i'm going to make it quite central i think now i've got some of my washi tape and i'm just going to add two pieces to the photo at one side just to give it a little bit of an extra oomph as it were i'm using my scissors i'm not tearing it there we go now i've got some embellishments as well that i want to add and i've just made them by die cutting some tags and matting them onto the black and all i've written on them is coming into land what a view and then i've added a little bit of washi tape just at the top and the second one says the big apple again i've just matted and layered the tag onto black cardstock and i've added just a little bit of the washi tape at the end so i'm thinking maybe maybe here and then i've got the stars and stripes and it's just i think would look great there there we go so that's one of my pages done now the other page i've actually got a postcard of new york now because i knew we weren't going to be able to set foot in new york um i asked a very kind lady and i'm going to say her name wrong yadra as i asked her if by any chance she would be able to bring me just a little memento of new york because I knew we were going to do journal in January when we were at Create Far um, because I thought about it on the way and I thought how fabulous that would be um, to just, you know, mark my journey, showing that you can, you know, mark any of your journeys. So we're going to add the postcard to our page and we're going to make it a flip. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some washi tape and I'm thinking it might be better that way because I don't want to block the view, the picture on the actual postcard. So I'm going to cut a strip of washi tape and then I'm going to add it just to the edge of the postcard like that. And then I'm going to add some more washi tape on the back and I'm going to add this instead of doing it all diagonal I'm going to add three strips across the back because I want it held on so that I can flip the postcard now we did add something earlier in one of the episodes and I added the washi tape in a long piece on the back. You can do that as well, you could take a piece all the way down. But for this one I'm adding it just like that because I think it works quite well for this. And you can see my postcard, you can see the photo and it all matches in and turns in great for the scenic photos as i said they're not you know the most um interesting photos they are to me the photos that i was so desperate to take and i was so happy that i managed to get them taken and i think it gives you a good idea of the different things that you can do with your pages building it all up because every page is different we're not going for a regimental look we're not going for um everything has to be precise because we're building our memories and this is how it happened and this is showing it so i do hope you've enjoyed watching um this episode and i hope it's given you an idea of just things that you can add and different ways you can add elements to your journals and to your pages and maybe even to your cards so don't forget, I do love hearing from you, so please, you know, keep in touch. 
and let me know if you're enjoying the series let me know what you think let me know if it's given you any ideas or inspiration um what what would you journal would you make a cookbook would you make a favorite things book pictures of all the things that you love you can journal anything it doesn't have to be a planner or an organizer it could be a photo journal it could be anything it could be labels from something so thank you so much for watching and i shall see you tomorrow for episode 12